Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Parmeshwar Hegde, representing an organization called Enzyme Global Solutions. It is uh, from Bengaluru, in Karnataka. Uh, in the next 10 to 15 minutes, I will be going to uh, share my experience what we have done in uh, agriculture as part of the Water Energy Nexus Venexa program. The program is called Agriculture Demand Site Management. So basically, we are trying to address uh, two major uh, natural resources. One is energy, the second is water. <coughs> One slide about our organization. We are into solutions provider for power, water and gas, efficiency solutions, technology, enterprise, business and low carbon solutions apart from renewable energy and energy audits. About the project side details, this project was uh, one of its kind in the country. Uh, as part of the Ministry of Power, they wanted to drive energy inefficiency from the system and to bring energy efficiency. So this was taken up in uh, Dodabalapu, a Taruka place, in Bangalore rural district outskirts of Bangalore urban in Karnataka state. Total geographical area is 11,000 acre. Number of villages are covered 39. And the major crops in this area is mulberry, for silver, grape, and vegetables. Average water depth, uh, as one of the friend was mentioning, that this is hard rock area. Water depth is 600 feet average, ranging from 100 feet to 1,200 feet. It's going down further year by year. Total pump sets uh, covered in this project are 604. Total project period is 10 years. It's an ESCO model project with guaranteed energy savings approach. ESCO is an energy service uh, company. That's our company is uh, one of them, certified uh, by BE, Bureau of Energy Efficiency. This is the project uh, area scenario four years ago, the rampant uh, uh, unauthorized connections, inefficient uh, energy and water management was there. It was due to many reasons, I could mention only few, power curtailment policy, only four to six hours of power, and long LT lines, low power factor, large distribution transformers, led to poor voltage, high LT cost, high LT losses, motor and uh, pump set and distribution transformer bur burnouts, installation of uh, oversized pump sets than the required ones, and indiscriminate power pumping and spurious name plates. At the time of application to the discounts, uh, local utility companies, farmer may say that my uh, license is for 5 HP, but actually it must have been 7.5 HP or 10 HP. Or over a period of time, it might have increased also, 10 years period, because of the depleting water table, he has increased the capacity. So such data was not available uh, with the discounts. So this was uh, conceived of concept called Venex, uh, water energy nexus, to be bringing the developer area to address both energy and uh, water in one shot. And since 360 degree approach of uh, this program is not only uh, energy uh, efficiency but also upgradation of uh, entire network, power distribution network, farmer consultancy, uh, training the farmers, bringing water use efficiency measures and uh, water ch watershed activities in those areas we try to bring in. <laughs> The stakeholders in this project, Pharma is the one of the integral part. The program was conceived by USAID and uh, Tetra Tech, also by PA Consultancy. <coughs> they gave this idea to BESCOM maybe five to six years ago. BESCOM started implementing this project as part of the closed tender system. Enzyme won this project. ERDA, a Baroda based organization, 
which uh, established the baseline energy consumption for the project uh, concepts. NABARD, this was part of our uh, financial partner. They have uh, given loan to us in this uh, project to implement the program. Project implementation took in uh, two major stages. The first is uh, uh, network implement by BESCOM. BESCOM is Bangalore Electricity Supply Company. It's a state-owned uh, company. They have, uh, there are about four feeders. They have improved the power distribution uh, uh, network by installing the HVDS system, 25 kVA transformers to each pump set, <coughs> capacitors banks, and AMR enabled metering for all these locations. Automatic meter readers. This project, once the closed tender system was uh, allotted to Enzen, we uh, implemented this project in three different phases. The first phase is baseline phase. We have established the energy consumption for all these pump sets uh, for one year, covering all the different seasons. Also, we have brought the farmers on board by convincing that why to be part of such, an, such a crucial pilot project. Second stage is identifying the inefficient pump sets. Identified and procured the pump set and installed free of cost to farmers. That we did it. The third stage is establishing the energy savings for the next 10 years. Presently we are in the monitoring and the verification stage. It's almost one and a half years we are in this stage. Not only that, we are also training the farmers, giving demonstrations how to conserve water or uh, bring some uh, slow changes in the cropping pattern. Here is it. Out of 604 pump sets, <coughs> when we conducted energy audit of each pump set, we found that 280 pump sets are eligible for replacement. That means they were inefficient. That is about 46% of the total population is inefficient. And remaining 40% uh, they are old pump set efficient, don't require any replacement. And 14% uh, pump sets are dynamic in nature. Either bore wells are uh, drying uh, day by day or uh, uh, bore wells in some tube wells or the pump sets are shifting from one place to the other. Total in project investment is about 2.4 crore rupees that we have invested. We will get back this money in the form of energy savings. Every month we will take the readings from these meters, compare it with the baseline, generate the invoice, submit it to the BESCOM. Based on uh, certain agreement, sharing energy sharing agreement, they will reimburse the uh, energy saving with the purchase power purchase price. This will go for next 10 years. Our anticipated payback period is about 6 to 7 years. It's a commercial uh, model. <coughs> In the last one year's five months, till August 2012, we have saved approximately 2 million units, 2 million kWh. That is about 30% of the energy saving in comparison with the baseline period for these concepts. Just by replacing 280 concepts, we could uh, light additional 4,000 households by an average monthly consumption of 30 units. So we don't have to generate additional electricity. Uh, power, Ministry of Power or other committees say that there are about 2 million pump sets in India. I think if we can uh, do at least some 10% of these uh, pump sets in such a project, we don't have to establish more thermal plants in India. This has uh, resulted in saving about 6.6 .6 million uh, rupees uh, directly. And indirectly, BESCOM can sell this power to for uh, other commercial purposes other, for the other consumers. This project was awarded by Ministry of Power in 2009, India Power Award. And we have been shortlisted in the PLATS Global Energy Award 2012. Tomorrow, final list will be announced, I hope.
See, apart from uh, these concepts of replacement, I, I told you developmental initiatives which we have uh, taken up, trainings to the farmers, pump set maintenance, drip irrigation, rainwater harvesting, and molecule mulching, all these are water side interventions. Demonstrations in about 150 locations, we have demonstrated dry bore well and open well, dry open dry well uh, recharging techniques. This can uh, recharge about 30 million liter of water in one season. Polythene mulching in crop cultivation, especially vegetable and uh, uh, flower cultivation, this can save huge amount of water and uh, energy, at least to the tune of 25 to 40 percent, depending on the crop and season. Some images of our uh, project in different stages. We have also established one uh, touch screen kiosk for the farmers who are in the kit. So, they can uh, uh, get the know-how of uh, local markets for their produce. We have developed a, an online uh, portal for this project especially. It's called agripowerindia.com. You can log on to it. You can see we have mapped all these consumers on the with the help of GIS. Each consumer is mapped with the present connected load. Any discount can go and verify to this website whether the search in such a detail is available or not. So this is one crucial where we are different from the discounts. See, this project is, okay, looks like simple. About four years ago, all were talking in the conference rooms. Now it has come into field. Of the 11 projects, maybe 10 from BE side, Bureau of Energy Efficiency. This is the most uh, successful project I can claim. <coughs> Success doesn't come so easily. We have faced so much of challenges from the farmer side. When I went to site, personally I went to site, discussed with the farmers, convinced them, they said, mine is 12 and a half HP pump set. Why are you, who the hell are you coming here and replacing with 6 HP or 7 and a half HP? Why should I replace my pump set? We told them, Baba, don't worry, we are assuring the water. Water assurance is ours for next 10 years. If you don't get water, we will replace our pump set. That's how we convinced that it was a challenging one. Getting the right pump set for the each location, each location is a dynamic one. They have 6 inch bore wells, 8 inch bore wells, 10 inch bore wells. Each pump set is having its own specifications. Gujarat make, uh, made pump sets are one, Coimbatore made pump sets are different um, uh, sizes, <coughs> capacities are different and one of the criteria was BE 5 star rated pump sets. It was hardly, it was very hard to uh, find BE 5 star rated pump sets uh, getting in at the right time. Coordination among the government departments, so this is uh, not only BESCOM but also Agriculture, horticulture departments should come into picture. We are very bad experiences in such situations. And the last one is ever depleting water table. We don't know. This is the second year. Next eight years to go, water may fall down below 2,500 uh, feet. I don't know water whether water will come or something else will come. This is telling Energy consumption will definitely increase. Meeting such challenge is it ahead of us. Two more challenges I have not highlighted. One is the rampant unauthorized connection, hooking, somebody was mentioned. It's still there, even though such a network is placed, hooking is still there. The next one is single phase conversion into three phase. Farmer wants uh, uh, eight hours power supply. Discom gives only the six hours. Three hours in the night, three hours in the morning. Night nobody will go. Morning there will be single phase convert into three phase by with the help of capacitors. This will lead to motor burnouts frequently, meter burnout frequently, so many challenges. In the end, <coughs> I would like to request all of you to join hands in building a 360 degree agriculture demand side management uh, program wholesome. So what we have done is a part. I can understand, it's a challenge. 
we need to uh, devise a package and give it to the discounts of the farmers. And developing a precision farming approach, we have addressed only energy and water, but we need to address some more like nutrient, seeds, those are all vital resources we have to address. Kind of precision farming approach can be the real solution. <coughs> Thank you very much.